From there, we go to importance of leisure. What is the importance of leisure? It gives time to rest. It gives people time to rest. So people can regain their lost energy after working. Remember that those people who do not rest after working can suffer from diseases like stress, high blood pressure. So it gives people time to rest. Also, people get time for recreation. Recreation like uh, watching Christian videos, reading Christian material, playing computer games, fishing, soccer, swimming. So, people get time for recreation. Leisure time allows people to attend social gatherings. So, to attend occasions. You can be able to attend weddings, birthdays, on your free time. And also you can, it can provide time for friends and relatives to be together. Also, it allows time to travel, travel time. It also gives one time to worship. gives one time to worship and leisure also can be used to enhance or acquire new skills to acquire new skills or you enhance your own skills because on your leisure time or free time you can attend classes part-time classes and that is what people do like for example the students are if you are in a day school and it was near the town you go for football classes in the evening right you go for dancing classes in the evening yes anything that you want you you go for debate what lessons in the evening that is what you do you go for piano lessons during your free time so we are going to also tackle traditional african understanding of leisure traditional african understanding of leisure So in the traditional African community, leisure is time for creativity. For creativity and for active activities. For creativity and active activities. So it was a time for creativity and people mostly involved in active activities. And uh, it was, number two, it was divided according to age, gender, and social status. So the activities in leisure were divided uh, according to your age, to gender, and social status. <coughs> Number three, uh, leisure incorporated celebrations. Incorporated into celebrations. So leisure was incorporated into the communities, celebrations such as weddings, birth rites, naming ceremonies. It was also viewed as time to increase production. Time to increase production. It was also a thanksgiving time, as in you give thanks to God for the good harvest, for the large herds of livestock. So it was also used for Thanksgiving. Also, the leisure time was used to pass on traditions. That is to pass on the traditions of the community. So people use leisure time to preserve and pass on community traditions and cultural values. That is from one generation to other. For example, through telling stories and riddles. It was also time for enjoyment. People could dance.
And number <coughs> eight, the last number, it was time for communal work. So people could work together 